Hello and welcome guys to this interesting session of ASP.NET Core 8.0. In this session, we are going to implement JWT token authentication in our application Web API. And we are going to discuss how the 8.0 framework improved the identity and authentication. Guys, I have already created few videos which JWT token on Web API.NET Core 3.1 dotnet core 6.0 and dotnet core 7.0 i will give the video link in the video description you can also check it out and after completing the session i'm going to upload my source code to the google drive and going to give the link on video description so you can also download and check it out guys before starting the session i have a deep request to you you can see here in last 28 days 18.2k unique viewer are there and returning viewer are 3.8k so i have a request to my unique viewer please do subscribe to my channel the subscription count encourage me a lot it will not cost you a single penny but you will not miss my future videos so today we are going to use visual studio and just few command guys before starting the session if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for future notification and if you ended up liking my video give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends let's get started so this is my practice folder i have created one folder dotnet core auth web api here i am going to write my code okay to create an application or to create upon the command prompt you can write in the address bar command cmd you can see it is coming in my the current folder here i can write dotnet new here i can write the web api so i need a web api with no https and enter so you can see it will create you can see right here it is creating the folder right the next command we need to add the new get packages to need add new get packages the first one is entity framework core sql server 8.0 preview next one is entity framework core tools 8.0 preview again this is my third command next command is entity framework code identity dot entity framework code hit it okay next one is jwt token bearer or asp.net core dot authentication dot jwt bearer you can see our application got run completely sorry our application is install all the properties you can go to obj you can find all the new get here right now i will open this cs project in my visual studio Visual Studio 2022. Guys, please pay attention. These are all our command and lines only. Wait for a few seconds, let it open. Next thing is I'm going to add my connection string in my app setting.json. First thing we did in a command prompt. Next thing is you're going to add inside our command prompt. So here you can see in my server explorer i want to create a new connection to new to a new database so so you can see this is my server name and let's create one more server our connection this is connection sql server authentication user id csa password and here I, I will create a new database so how i can create a new database let's say youtube db click on advanced if it is not creating we will go and we will create their test connection
so guys i did manually created this db youtube db in my sql server here i am going to arm my connections my user id and password save my password here database name is youtube db click on test connection connection succeed click on ok so this is my youtube db so here also initial catalog i am going to change so in case you can see in youtube db there is nothing is there if you see tables expand nothing is there now my task is go to create a app data context how i can create a app data context now i am going to create a class in my project app db context and it will be inheriting from identity db context okay guys for the sake of timing i am doing prepaste okay it required a using statement i think okay let's create a constructor with option we created everything as it is till now entity from our core next step is we need to go to the, our project double click on the project initial globalization make it false okay next we will go to our program.cs file here we need to add few line of code here i have added api endpoint identity user okay builder.service.r identity api endpoint next builder.service.r authentication next builder.service.r mbc and next i no need of this okay next is i am adding my db context which is my app db context this file completely and i am taking the connection from default connection which is app setting dot json next line is we need to change in program.cs file before app.run okay how we can do like this map group slash identity identity api identity user next is we need to go to our package manager console and need to add our entity framework command number seven and number eight command so here add hyphen migration i'm giving initial db so build started wait for a few seconds it will create the migration file build succeed okay now we are giving update dash database in this here it will create my database table structure completely done i didn't do anything nothing is created i just added now you can see go to database refresh the table here the magic right now run the application Right. this will be interesting and for creating this kind of times take lots of it actually upgrade the system to 8.00 preview it didn't work on directly ui so go went command from so many things so you can see all this api login register everything so go to the register you can see try it out i'm giving my email id like be so at the red test.com i'm giving let's say YouTube order one two three execute. We can see the data also in the table also, right? So it's created success, right? Now so order test dot com and my password is YouTube order one two three. Now go to the login section, make it click on try it out. Cookies false session cookies false. Password is YouTube. Okay. right now click on execute we will get our token yes done now go to table and we can see in the users
you can find the record created also we want to refresh it refresh token already api endpoint is created refresh token api you can see uh, just minimize it here 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 refresh just give the refresh token again you will generate our bearer token again right in this way we can create a dot net core 8 8.0 jwt docker authentication guys i hope you like this session if you do give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much